Hey, what's up? It's Jim, and I just got back from the new film, Tree of Life, which is the new film directed by Terrence Malick. I think, uh, this movie's not really that easy to describe, but in some ways it is. For certain movies you see, I don't think it's just easy to just see them and then come home and people are like, well, how was it? And you can just go, oh, it was this. And some of them, that's very easy to do. That's kind of the nature of art in general. It's not everything you're going to have the same reaction. Or if you are, I, you're not seeing very good movies, I think. When I was uh, 15, Eyes Wide Shut came out, and I saw that because I was a huge film dork and I love Kubrick, and I was like, of course I want to see Eyes Wide Shut. I was not really ready for that movie then, I don't, I don't think at all. It tackles a lot of issues. I don't think I was really mature enough to really relate to it entirely. I mean, I could, but I, I really couldn't. As time went on and I saw it again, every time when I watch it, the older I got, the more I got it, and the different the experience was. And that's kind of how I feel about Tree of Life. This film is really about understanding kind of the loss of a major person in your life. Sean Penn's character contemplating death after his younger brother died many years ago. But I'm assuming, because this film isn't very clear, although it is, it often isn't. I assume it's some sort of an anniversary of his death. And he's kind of contemplating death and kind of rationalizing it. I view this film through his perspective. In, in a way it's like Days of Heaven because Days of Heaven is from the little girl's perspective and in this I, I look at it through him just thinking in his office because of the way it's kind of, it's very stream of consciousness. I'm not sure certain images I know are imagination from his childhood and certain ones I know are real but it plays like memories like certain parts are missing in a moment, so you get the beginning of the moment and the end of the moment, or what I think is the beginning of the moment and the end of it. The camera is very aggressive, but very interesting. Like the camera is never still; it's always moving, and always having fun, and always kind of finding unique imagery to say what the characters are thinking, or what at least Sean Penn's character thinks the characters are thinking, or thinks they might have been thinking. Kind of visualizing it. I think that's what makes this film very interesting. It's also very religious. It's almost like a visual sermon. He, he's trying to say something about death. He's trying to tell us something. How maybe he himself rationalized um, death and thought about death. He starts thinking about his childhood and how his parents met and how that all happened, and specifically about his childhood. And it, it does feel like someone thinking because as you think, or even in conversation, you get on one topic and you transition into others. And that's how this film felt to me. You know, like he's just transitioning his thoughts and like thinking about his brother's life and like how close he was to his brother and what that time represented. Both my parents are still alive and both my brother and my sister are alive and I've never really lost anyone as, as close as this film is. I guess except for like my grandfather, but I haven't really lost as someone to the extent that this character did. I feel like maybe when I'm older or the age that Terrence Malick is, when he made this film, that maybe I'll be able to relate to it more. In a lot of film reviews, I'm just supposed to give you the easy answer, like, is this good? I mean, yes, it is good, but I, I, I wonder, like, will I see this in 10 years or two years and think this is pretentious or think it's even more amazing that it is or less amazing? You know, in, in a way, it does feel like a almost a thesis paper or a thesis film, certainly in a good way, but I can understand if you thought this was just a bunch of crap, but I don't I don't think it is. I think it's a very good film. All the natural light and the, the way he used light was just very beautiful, and it's without a doubt the best shot film I've seen this year. I definitely see splashes of people like Fellini and uh, Bergman within this, definitely because of the family relationship, and Fellini, particularly at the end, but I don't want to get into the end too much. It's a very honest film, maybe a little too honest sometimes. If you're looking for this great opus from Terrence Malick, this, this is definitely it. As much as it's about death, it's still very hopeful, and hopeful about life, in more of a realistic way about hope and how life is, and not just about how, I guess, um, an idealized version of that. So if you've seen Tree of Life and you would like to talk about it, then comment below in the comments and subscribe if you would like to.